Good morning from the Thorpe Park Resort where the sun is shining. I'm saying that a lot lately. And it's time to head into Thorpe Park for only our second visit of the 2023 season. We've come down today to check out Mardi Gras. This event's running until the 11th of June. I've not done it before. Yeah, and along with that, we'll get back on lots of our favorite rides here at the park. It shouldn't be too busy today. It's an off-peak weekday, um, so it shouldn't be too bad. We haven't just seen a large group going in behind us. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. The car park's pretty quiet yeah, it's today. Not too busy at all. Yeah, ride close is five o'clock today. We'll get lots of attractions in, bring you all the latest updates, lots of off-ride footage of the coasters, and of course, yeah, we'll have a good look round and bring you all the latest updates. And here we are then. Welcome to the island like no other. There we go. Do you like this screen just here? This is fantastic, this one. The one out the front's a bit pixelated now, could do with replacing. That's a good screen. Time to spice up. Your life here at Thorpe Park. Yeah, looking forward to it. Lovely sunny day. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure that you check out our blog from the launch event for Ghost Train. Nuva 2023, of course, a replacement of Darren Brown's Ghost Train. Yeah, it's now open here at the park. So make sure you check out that. We have our initial ride. Hey, we have our initial ride on there. And of course, share our review from the experience as well. Always great walking over the bridge. Tunes are pumping. And yeah, looking forward to getting on lots of different rides including the Swarm, one of my favourites in the UK. Stealth as well, you can't beat stealth, especially on a sunny day. Try and get a front row ride on there in the sunshine today. Make the most of it. What's that there? you got a paper guide book, yeah, have you? I like having a paper map. It's got all the times for the Mardi Gras stuff in there as well. That's good, yeah, really handy how they've got the paper max here. We need them back at Alton Towers, oh, actually. Oh, we do. Yeah, it's nice, it's a custom one for uh, the yeah, Mardi Gras nice. events as well, which is good to see. And yeah, we'll check out some of the Mardi Gras entertainment. And of course, get back on lots of different rides. Full park vlog today. Thought Park. I always love coming out of the dome and being greeted with this pretty epic skyline. The swarm just off to the right there. Stealth straight ahead, tidal wave, of course. Last time we are here, tidal wave wasn't running. Yeah, might go on that today, what are you thinking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tidal wave just over there. Of course, Destinator off to the left, Nemesis Inferno, Storm Surge, you got Rush swinging away there, Colossus over in the background, and of course, saw the ride. And then that skyline's gonna get even more epic next year with the opening of Project Exodus. Well, it's just gone 10 o'clock and yeah, we're making our way down to the Swarm. Always like starting my day at Thorpe Park with a ride over here on the Swarm. Fantastic b and wing coaster. And used to always say in these vlogs, the only wing coaster in the UK. Can't say that anymore. Mandrill Mayhem's open just down the road, actually, at Chessington World of Adventures. Another fantastic wing coaster. More family thrill. Obviously, that's a 1.2. This is a 1.4 meter height restriction thrill wing coaster and uh, yeah i do love the swarm it is fantastic a great ride but yeah mandrels are amazing for chessington it's a really nice addition uh, capacity aside it's a really nice addition for that park so it's nice to see another bnm wing coaster in the uk and very close to each other yeah we'll start off with a ride on the swarm not too many people heading down here first probably about a five ten minute wait for the wing coaster always enjoy getting back on this and here we are straight into the station let's go and ride the swarm and we'll see you when we come off
say fantastic operations this morning there on the swarm. We had three back-to-back -back rides without even leaving the station. That's why I love the re-rider policy here. If there's no one waiting in your row to get on, you can ride again. So we did row one, two, and three all back to back. We were trying to work our way back. <laughs> oh, fantastic that was. And yeah, they were getting the train sent out so quick. On two of them three rides, we didn't even stack on the brake run. It was straight into the station. And on the third time when we did stack, we were there for like 10 seconds. So fantastic. Well done to the operations on there this morning. It's just a really good start to the day when you think, yeah, three rides on the swarm. It's like 20 past 10. Brilliant that You're was. You're also a winner when you can get three rides in a short space of time. It's a brilliant coach of the swarm. It really is. It's fantastic. It's one of our favourites in the UK still. Uh, the only negative on that is the vest restraints. They do get quite tight throughout, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they get a bit tight. I'm not a massive fan of that. And that's something you notice on the newer models now of the BNM wing coasters, like Mandrel Mayhem down at Chessington. The restraints don't get tight throughout, which is great. Um, obviously, it's perfectly safe still, uh, but it doesn't get tight on the shoulders, it's which is fantastic. It's when it's so tight, whereas Mandrel's so much better because you're more free on there. Yeah, and that's the case with quite a few of the newer ones. And you've got Gatekeeper to get on soon. Oh, I am so excited for that one. Cedar Point, really excited. Honestly, we're really pumped for the USA trip now. Vlogs on the way starting next week on the channel. So exciting. We had a great start to the day. Back to back, three rides on the swarm. Well, it's a perfect day to be here at Thorpe Park. Sun shining, crowd levels are really light as well, as you can see which is fantastic for getting lots of rides in. I always love Amity, and yeah, the Amity Hotel over there. It's KFC inside, but I do love the theme building. Always looks great with the shark smashed through the middle there. Fantastic. Right, let's go towards Stealth. Up here then to the Amity Speedway. Yeah, we're going for a ride on Stealth. Five minute advertised wait. Look at Stealth, fantastic. Here she comes. Oh. Feel the power of style. Let's go and give this a go. And you're probably getting the theme now of what I'm going to say based on the past few vlogs from Alton Towers and from here. Not long, Charlotte. You're going to be getting on King Dakar. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Over double the height of this, Charlotte. Oh, you're in for a treat with King Dakar. I really enjoyed it. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It really is. But yeah, it's going to have a ride on stealth. Five minute wait. Lovely. I'll have a few re rides on here. Here we go. This is a sight that I like to see. Walk on stealth. Straight up to the station. Fantastic. Make the most of it. Three rides on stealth. Can you see the pattern already today? I tell you what, though, we started off with a front row ride. Incredible stealth on the front, isn't Honestly, it? Honestly, I absolutely love stealth. The acceleration that that gives is fantastic. It's one of the best launches in the world. And as much as there's some coasters that go faster, the sheer acceleration of this, how it gets to that top speed, is amazing on stealth, and especially on the front. And we also had two rides on the back row as well, which is fantastic. And I tell you what, we all did that in about 15 minutes. Yeah, not too bad at all. Incredible. Much more Brilliant to see. And I've got to say, Operations are great. They're running down the train, getting them the old chairs. Yeah, they're doing such a good Amazing. job. Amazing. Really impressed with Thorpe Park this season. Fantastic to see. Go back a few years, operations weren't that good um, at the moment. And last year was pretty good as well. It's nice to see. I think Thorpe Park are in a really good place, ready for this major investment next year with Exodus. And of course, the tallest roller coaster in the country opening right here next year. I can't believe Honestly, it. Honestly, it's really exciting. I can't wait for that. And to actually see it going up is going to be something quite special. Definitely. We'll give you a bit of a mini Exodus update later in this video. I don't think another's happened yet to do a full dedicated update like we did a few months ago uh, but as soon as we start seeing more virtual construction then of course we will do but so uh, yeah it's always great to get back on stealth what a great ride Whoa. well it's been closed so far throughout 2023 for the retract project and yeah a few of the sections have been replaced over winter it seemed like they had a bit of a delay with that however today is the first operational day of colossus in 2023 it's back the world's first 10 looping coaster. I love Colossus. Advertised wait of 35 minutes. I'd imagine a lot of people come straight down here to get on it. Literally opened a few minutes ago for the first time this year. Let's go and have a ride. I do really enjoy Colossus. And let's see how that new track rides. Here it comes. Let's go and replace the sections over there. The start of the final few inversions. Looking forward to this. We didn't know if we were going to be getting it today. So I'm really excited for a ride on Colossus. Looking forward to it, Charlotte. Oh. 
Yeah, really good. It's quite busy, but I think a lot of people have come down for the ride. Let's give it a go. Really nice to be walking around this queue line again. Really atmospheric, all the foliage. And the music as well. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be 35 minutes. It's on two trains, and yeah, there's only these few waiting at the merge. And we're pretty much straight down to the station, so maybe 10 minutes. Let's go and ride, see how this new track feels. And here comes the train onto them new sections of track, the first of the quad heartline rolls there. New track. Well, we waited just over five minutes there for our ride on Colossus, and I've got a real soft spot for that ride. 2002 Intamin multi-inversion coaster and it's fantastic it really is and it's good to see them looking after it of course with that partial retract they've done I'm expecting them to do some more on there in the near future but how did you find it? I thought the new track was riding quite well you could definitely tell the transition from the old to the new I felt it's run quite smoothly. Yeah I completely think it's very different I don't think you can tell at all which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing I mean I didn't really find it rough before um, but I think you know it seamlessly uh, moves through that section you wouldn't even know that they replaced that track apart from the look of it in my opinion. I think it just felt really smooth going over it. I mean I've never really found Colossus to be rough however it can be quite uncomfortable depending on your build as well um, with your shoulders and that sort of thing. It hasn't got the best restraint to a train design Colossus I give it that. It needs new trains I just find it so uncomfortable and the restraints are just so heavy. Yeah they aren't great especially you know when you've got sick up at Flamingo Land the trains on there are better. Um, it's a very similar ride but it's also got its differences as well with the trains and the profile in the lift hills different for example. This is a tra conventional chain lift and that of course the cable lift um, but yeah it's a great ride nice to see it back open and uh, I think for me it's just the look of that track looks a bit out of place now they need to replace the other bit soon or um, do a, re a repaint of the old track that's the issue you've got this lovely new track and then the rest of it just looks a bit dirty it doesn't really fit in not really but uh, yeah I'm glad that they've done it it obviously needed to be done it's a classic and it was the first big thrill ride at Thorpe Park so it's important that they look after it Time to go and get a sore head then now, or at least depending on where you sit on this ride. 2009 Gerslauer Eurofighter. There it goes. Saw the ride. Well, here's the saying it's a nice quiet day. Saw 45 minutes. Yeah, I don't fancy waiting that long. Luckily, it's got single rider. So yeah, we can get straight on with that. Tell you what, I am glad we did not wait 45 minutes for that. Single rider, we're running less than five minutes. Still in the empty seats, of course, on the trains. And yeah, that is the worst ride I've had on Saw in quite some time. I think it's probably because of the warmer temperatures. It was really rough and uncomfortable that time. It was oh. so rough, like it bashed my shoulders. I couldn't wait to get on the brake run and get off. I didn't enjoy that no, one I single bit. Like, I've not had a ride that bad on Saw for quite some time. I think it is because of the heat. And that's the thing, the weather and temperatures can really affect roller coasters. And yeah, when it's warm, 
It doesn't do too well for the uh, such a bad ghost day, no. Oh my god, yeah, that was crazy. That the trains on there were just rattling oh, side to not side. Good at all. Yeah, really not very good. I didn't enjoy it one single bit. I tell you what we did see from up there though, a look over the project Exodus site. So we're gonna have a look round by the gate and I'll give you a bit of an update. Taking thrills to new heights, Thorpe Park in 2024 with the UK's tallest roller coaster, 236 foot tall, manufactured by Mac Rides. I tell you what, a nice smooth Mac right next to a very rough Gerstlauer. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a fantastic addition to Thorpe Park. And yeah, I've got to say, in terms of work on there, um, to me, it seems like it's running a little bit further behind than I was expecting. Yeah, I thought a lot more would have been done, to be honest. It seems to be taking quite a while, but it's one of them, isn't it? I mean, we're nearly at the end of May, aren't we now? Oh, yeah. I thought we'd have seen maybe all the foundations nearly done by now. But, uh, it'll just end up going up so quick. It will, and you've got to think with the ride, it is quite compact. It's not the longest of layouts. It's mostly one big structure. Um, so yeah, a lot of the foundations, instead of being dotted over a huge area, are all just going to be kind of in this area here. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see it go up later in the year. I don't think we're going to be seeing the arrival of supports and track um, anytime soon, or at least going up anytime soon anyway. I think it's going to be a while. However, we do now know the colour scheme, which is going to be really nice it's going to be white and gold which i'm looking forward to quite interesting i'm looking forward to seeing what it actually looks like when it's up yeah i think uh, it'll look nice with the gold down the bottom and then and kind the of going up to the white yeah. yeah it's going to look great it's kind of similar to stealth how it's blue at the bottom and then goes up to white in the sunshine it will proper gleam won't it yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing that but uh, yeah i thought they might be a little bit further ahead now than they are um obviously foundation work is starting i mean you can see some of like the steel work down there um for the foundations all the piling and all that kind of stuff and that's the thing with these coasters it's not really the supports and track installation that takes the longest it is foundation work um and getting all the footers um ready for it but so uh, yeah you can see active work taking place today i just thought by now we might be seeing you know all the foundations done and possibly doing something else now you know maybe uh, the arrivals tracking supports but yeah i think we're a little while off that in terms of um, being installed here on site but of course we'll keep you updated here on the channel we thought we won't film a separate dedicated update today because mainly there's not really that much going on to show you from when we did an update three months ago we're going to be heading over onto Nemesis Inferno shortly. Yeah, like we say, it's Mardi Gras here at Thorpe Park. There's some stilt walkers out. Hey! Looking very colourful there. Mardi Gras. Hey! For the Mardi Gras celebrations. Yeah, lovely. Really nice. What a beautiful day here at Thorpe Park. Yeah, we just had a sit down and our lunch. We brought the pat lunch again, didn't we, Charlotte? Cheese sandwich today. We're doing well this year with the pat lunches. And of course, yeah, we're going to go and have a ride now on Nemesis Inferno. Of course, the only Nemesis operating this year here in the UK. Nemesis Inferno. Let's go and give it a ride. Oh, 2003 b and inverted coaster. And it is a fantastic ride. And we got a 10 minute advertised wait for the B&M Beauty. Let's go and have a ride. And we'll put in some off ride shots. To place any bags and loose items in the bag storage on the far side of the station. Fear not, the drone will not leave without you. Staff will be on hand to check your safe to go. I like it with my say Thor Park's operations today are fantastic. Getting the train sent out nice and quick on there. Sometimes on Inferno, you can be waiting on that break room quite a while. Uh, I've been a really good ops today across all the rides, which is fantastic. And so uh, yeah, 20 years in Emerson's Inferno. I do like how Thor Park always make the effort to celebrate rides anniversaries. It's really good to see. I mean, this was out for Colossus last year for 20 years, and it was all Colossus branded. And look at this now, all the way across. Da -da -da! 
nice, isn't it? Yeah, that looks fantastic. You enjoy your ride, Charlotte? Oh, I love Nemesis Inferno. It's a great coaster. It's really nice. I like how they're using some of the original imagery just here as well, which is really cool. Like the old school concept art there for the ride. Fantastic. We have 20 years of Nemesis Inferno. Time to enter the Thor Park safe zone. 25 minute wait for the indoor coaster, the Walking Dead. The ride, and I suppose I'm not a fan of the IP. I think it's really outdated now, isn't it? Really, The Walking Dead. Um, but yeah, I think the ride itself is fantastic. I do like an indoor roller coaster. Um, it's not so much the effects in here that are anything to shout about, but I just like a good indoor coaster. That's what makes me really excited for Secret Weapon 9 at Alton Towers, Project Horizon, and 2025. Yeah, really excited. 2024 next year with Exodus, and then of course, nice new indoor coaster at Alton Towers for 25. Good couple of years ahead. I'll tell you what, there's no wonder he's got a 25 minute queue. I've been praising the operations today. They've been fantastic so far on the big five. But I tell you what, I've never seen the operation so poor on The Walking Dead just there. The ride itself was running around empty. Uh, and the issue was the baggage hold. Like, it took ages, didn't it? They needed two people in the baggage oh. hold. There's one guy in there on his own having to do the onload and the offload. Yeah, and then of course we went there into the pre-show, which takes about two minutes. And then, yeah, walking down no to the ride, there. literally the coaster train was sat there empty. It looked like it had been for quite some time because I couldn't hear the screams of the other train going round. Yeah, they really need to have two people in the baggage just hold on there. Just to be able to help to take people back. Yeah, that was slow off. That should have been about a five, maybe ten minute maximum wait, and yeah, it was 25 minutes. In terms of the ride experience though, it is a good indoor coaster. No inversions or anything like that. It is more of a family coaster. However, it's a great ride. Uh, the effects aren't anything to shout about, apart from one really, where you drop down into a fire effect. Very similar to what you find on the Mummy over at Universal. Anyway, we've got a bit of Mardi Gras entertainment. Let's go and check it out. The Mardi Gras hub is all located in Angry Birds Land again this year. So let's go and have a look. A little bit of footage there from Mardi Unmasked, the dance extravaganza. How was that for you? I really enjoyed that. Like so much energy, the costumes are really good. I like the song choice overall. I really enjoyed it. It really fits into the Thor Park vibe, doesn't it? I loved it. It's a very different Mardi Gras event to Alton Towers, and I really like that. It just fit in so well here with like the song choice and the costumes, fantastic. Yeah, you don't want it the same at every park. It's nice how it's different. It's a bit different. Music's pumping down here, isn't it? Let's have a look around the rest of the Mardi Gras area. Yeah, you've got the stage. Of course, they've got the parade that's back this year too. And that was good fun last year. So yeah, we'll definitely show you the parade. You've got some food stores, you've got some photo ops. You've got a soul sign just over there too. 
Uh, yeah, let the good times roll, all the banners up on the buildings here in Angry Birds Land. I said this last year and I'll say it again, I'd actually love to see this whole area rethemed to like a New Orleans style street all year. I just really like these party vibes. Uh, I think it's much more relevant as well than Angry Birds. So yeah, I'd love to see that. I'll tell you what, I've just spotted on the truss up here as well. Confetti cannons, yeah, I reckon they're for the parade. Sure, we'll see them in use later. Um, yeah, all these buildings look great. Instead of the Angry Birds theming, um, having all these banners and all the colour. That's what I like about Mardi Gras, Charlotte. It's so colourful, it's nice. It brings so much colour to an area, doesn't it? It really makes a difference. It's fantastic. Here we go, you've got a photo op just over here as well. Which is great to see. Similar style to the one that we've got at Alton Towers. Um, which is new for this year, but yeah, here you go, another photo op down here. It's great that they're expanding more on the entertainment at the parks. And yeah, you've got the uh, bar just over there. It's a cocktail bar just over on that side. There's a few other bits around to see as well that we'll check out. And yeah, here's a look at Detonator in action. The park's drop tower. Five, These are new for Mardi Gras this year. Yeah, some more big signage. Funk all the way across, very sparkly, which is great. And yeah, you've also got the smaller stage over here by Nemesis Inferno for a little bit of live music for Mardi Gras too. But yeah, it's really nice. Go back five years, there was no events going on in the Merlin Park other than at Halloween. So it's so nice to have more events going on throughout the year. A nice bit of live music. Mixed in with the roar of a B&M coaster. Like I'm abroad with the live music, the sunshine and the palm trees and some pretty awesome coasters too. Lovely vibes. <laughs> Big heart over there too. Well, I mean, that was a quick dispatch on Destination. It's going up again. It's only came down a couple of minutes ago. Really good. Yeah, in general, ops have been great, apart from The Walking Dead. And yeah, here's a look at some of your food options. Baked macaroni cheese, eight pounds. You got some fries down there, four pounds as well. Barbecue ribs, seven pounds. With one side, nine pounds. And yeah, there's some veggie options there. Available at the street food. Can't wait till these confetti cannons go off later. There's loads. We've also got a couple of other food trucks just over here as well. Oh, this one does. Po Bay? Po Bay? It's like that I don't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And you've got the, the Bignette truck. I don't know. I'd say. I don't have a clue. A lot of people said on our Alton Towers vlog that like we're pronouncing wrong. I don't have a clue. We don't do fancy food, do we? We do pat lunches and uh, yeah, Greg sausage roll. Oh, but, uh, yeah, there you go. That's what's available down here food wise. I'll have a nice KFC later on though, pretty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll ask it to be KFC, I think. I can't believe how much we've got done. It's only 1.45. We've done the big five coasters, two of them we've had three rides on. And yeah, we've just had a lovely stroll around, seen some of the entertainment, did the Walking Dead. And then yeah, we're going to do some of the other rides now, do some flats this afternoon. And yeah, we'll go on the rapids just here. Go and give this a go. How long are we waiting for a ride on the rumba? Oh, we can do five minutes. Fantastic. Rumba! to the ride there on the Rumba River Rapids, waited about five minutes as expected and I tell you what, I enjoyed it. We didn't get that wet but it was a good ride didn't still. didn't get wet at all, oh, come on, bone dry. More of a lazy river but you know what, when the sun's shining there's something about just riding the rapids anyway. I wouldn't mind doing storm surge if it's not too busy this that afternoon. That always gets so busy and it's so underridden by us. Yeah, we didn't go on it much at no, all, do we? we? Like, but uh, tell you what, sun's shining, having a lovely day here at Thorpe Park and yeah, low crowd levels, pretty good operations. It's been a really good day so far. Yeah. 
I've actually just had a re-ride over on Nemesis Inferno. Waited just five minutes and we had a back row ride. Really nice and intense down the back on Nemesis Inferno. Normally the case for a lot of BNM inverts though, to be honest. Down the back is the best place to be. And yeah, Mr. Facts are on on there today too, which is brilliant. I tell you what, Tidal Wave certainly looks the part today down here at Thorpe Park. And it is a nice day, but I am brought clothes, as I would have gone on if I'd have brought some spare clothes, Charlotte, would you? Oh, I definitely would not be going on. Well, why not? Well, no, you can have a so I didn't like it. Oh, so yeah, the, water <laughs> the wave literally does soak you, doesn't it? I do love Amity, though, here. It's a really nice themed area. And yeah, on a day like this, it really does look the part. The sign with all the neon on over there and all the buildings that are sinking from the tidal wave. I'm talking to the tidal wave, here he comes. Well, we spoke about it earlier on and said we never really go on it. It's only got a 20 minute wait, it's had it we'll do it today. Storm surge, you get a great view from on the lift hill for this one. Let's go and ride. Oh, the lift hill is so noisy, you like, you hear it. <laughs> Yeah, so this ride opened here in 2011, however, prior to that, it used to be at Cypress Gardens in Florida, which is now Legoland, Florida. So yeah, fun fact for you, Merlin bought the park, turned it into a Legoland, and then yeah, they brought the ride over to here, fun fact. There you go. Well, we waited about 15 minutes there for our ride on Storm Surge. I am not happy about this. Let me just begin. I've got to put my feet in loads of water. <laughs> it was about this deep. It was. Going up, all them effects are on, wasn't they? I've never seen them on before. I got blasted in the face. <laughs> Look at my hair. Oh, so no. Yeah, you did get blasted in the face, to be fair. We got quite wet, not from the drop, but from the effects. Unbelievable. Did you enjoy it, though? No. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, though, the best part of the ride is the views on the lift hill going up. Yeah, shame we can't film or we'll take photos on there, but you do get a cracking view on your way up. Well, there you go, Storm Surge here at Thorpe Park. Some more live music here in the Mardi Gras area. Nice live band. There she is. Hey. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> Shortly, we're going to be watching the parade. Yeah, we're going to stand around here in the Mardi Gras area and we'll put some highlights in. And here it comes the Thor Park Mardi Gras parade. Express yourself just down there. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Hey, okay, we got some bees. Lovely. Hey, there you go. It's like Universal. We're getting the bees. Holland Towers, we don't get given the bees. Hey, here come the floats down there. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Tune! <laughs> nice bike there. <laughs> Got a mirror ball on the head, love it. Woo! Time for the street party! You're having a good time out there. Hey. Woo! Get messy. <laughs> Here it comes. Hey. Oh, there's loads of it. Bye everyone! Hey! 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 
the highlights there from the Thorpe Park Mardi Gras Parade 2023. Short and sweet that one, but I did enjoy it. Some really nice pumping tunes. Good to see they've expanded on it a little bit more as well with the different costumes and floats. And uh, yeah, it was just good fun. And we got beads too. Yeah, nice little memento for people to take home. We don't get these all the time Mardi Gras. Oh, no, yeah, you can buy them in the shop, Norman, but you can't uh, get them for free. I like getting them for free. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, when they're throwing them off, that's more like what Universal do. And that's the thing with Mardi Gras. It's becoming a big thing at the parts here in the UK now. And I know it's not really at the time when Mardi Gras is celebrated. That's February and March time. And that's the same over at Universal and Mardi Gras in general with that kind of celebration that happens in New Orleans and the States. However, it's becoming really good here in the UK. Uh, and also it's better when the weather's nice as well, oh, which is I know. good. When the weather's nice, it's lovely. But it's just so nice, there's so much colour, so much life, people enjoying the food and the drinks. Overall, it's a really good atmosphere. Definitely. And yeah, the parade comes back in this direction now. So if you missed it going that way the first time, you can see it coming this way. And we did like all the confetti as well. I thought that was fantastic. Oh, there was so much was getting covered in it. Yeah, it was brilliant. But uh, all the Mardi Gras events at the Merlin Parts are all very different. I think that's great. It makes it good fun going to each of them and seeing what they offer. And here it comes, back down this way, Mardi Gras. Well, we're going to do a couple of flat rides then now this afternoon, coming towards the end of our day here at Thorpe Park. But yeah, it's been really nice. We've done loads. It's been fantastic. And yeah, there's a look at Rush. Yeah, let's go have a go on here. Five minute wait. there on Rush and yeah walk straight onto it which is good and I've got to say I do really like that ride however you can tell now it's coming towards the end of its life unfortunately it makes me sad because when it opened it was a really good ride and it was for many years ago it used to swing really high on both arms now just one of the arms is swinging quite high it's still not like it used to and the other one yeah not that much at all and also the biggest issue with it at the moment is throughput because at the end of the ride you actually have to stay in your seats the restraints don't unlock for two minutes so the ride tag was about 40 50 seconds and then you actually sat there for two minutes at the end before they can unlock the restraints i don't know why obviously you've got like the big kind of air canisters that have to fill up maybe it's something to do with that i don't know the technicalities behind it however yeah quite interesting that literally you sat there for two minutes personally i think it's coming to the end of its life it wouldn't surprise me if we see the ride come out in the near future and replace with something else but uh, there you go that's rush for you there are no rush to get us off oh i shall have to get that one in there just wanted to say though how nice is this it's lovely isn't it yeah so this is where they used to have saw alive remember the scare maze that was in that boat well the boat was parked up right here and where i'm standing now was all kind of queue line for that it's like a mesh horrible cattle pen what they've done is completely took that out moved the boat off to the side put on these planters and opened up some nice lake views whether they've done that to put a ride here in the future i'm not too sure uh it seems like interesting how they've done it uh or just to make it a nicer atmosphere no matter what i think it's really nice what they've done when there's a closed attraction like that get it gone uh, they should have done this years ago in my opinion it's also opened up some nice views of colossus as you can see just off to the side here as well the power of 10. Colossus, everybody. I do really like this little flat ride corner of Thorpe Park, the Lost City. And yeah, you got Vortex just over here too. So you're gonna go and give that a ride. Of course, not forgetting Zodiac, Enterprise off to the left. And there's a magic carpet down there too as well. Quantum. Zero minute wait for Vortex.
I do always really enjoy my rides on Vortex, and yeah, great cycle on there too. Again, it's another one that used to ride better back in the day. However, they've still got some nice permanent flats here at the park, which I really do appreciate. And hopefully when they do come to the end of their life, they will be replaced with something brand new. But yeah, there's a look at Quantum, an ancient nice magic carpet, another really good fun one. Down here at Thorpe Park, what a brilliant day. We've got so many rides in today. It's been really nice. Very impressed today with Thorpe Park. Apart from the Walking Dead. <laughs> Gotta get out in there again. I am officially the Burger King. Look at that. Who remembers when you were a kid going to your local Burger King and get one of these hats just in? It's nice, isn't it? It's lovely. It's but I'm going to walk around with this for the rest of the day. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've got a little hat for you. So we just went over to Stealth and we're going to go to the Ben and Jerry shop. And we did actually go in. The price have gone up quite considerably in there. It would be an hour mark, of course, for the takeover with food. And uh, anyway, we went in there and uh, yeah, we found out that a Ben and Jerry's for one scoop is about £4.50. I think it was, yeah, it was, it? yeah. Well, you can come over here into Burger King and for £2.49 you can get a full tub just there. And that's basically one scoop anywhere. Maybe a little bit more I'd yeah. say, than one scoop. Fantastic. I am the Burger King. Oh, really enjoyed that ice cream. And yeah, prior to that, we had an ice KFC. What do you go to at KFC, Charlotte? Oh, I love a popcorn chicken, I do. That's what we went for, or didn't a we? Boneless banquet there, quite nice. And if I have a chicken on the bone, it has to be a drumstick. You also like someone else in KFC, don't you? Oh, a sweet corn. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> Charlotte is a big fan of the sweet corn. I know we've got 25 minutes left of the day. We've got stealth on a zero minute up here. So we'll have a go on there and probably try and get in uh, flying fish actually, because then we've been on little coasters here at the park yeah, today, haven't we? Today. And you can't say that until today, because obviously Colossus has been closed up until, well, today. So yeah, looking forward to, uh, yeah, getting back to Thorpe Park again after the trip. And it's been a really good day. I've oh, really I'm enjoyed it. Day, yeah, really impressed with Thorpe today. I look forward to coming back over summer. I'll do tidal wave next time, promise. They've actually changed some of the audio up there on stealth, and I love the new announcement at the end. It's like, no way you're on this platform, racers. Oh, we really <laughs> like it. Yeah, it's great though. Next time you go on there, you'll notice it. Yeah, they put like some new exit gates on it's the so offload. Heavy. Yeah, they are really heavy to push open. Well, yeah, no way you're on this platform, <laughs> racers. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit of a Thor Park classic, isn't it? So we thought we'll come and have a ride here on the Flying Fish. Yeah, five minute wait, however, it looks like it's pretty much walk on to me. Let's go and enjoy it. Nice Matt Rice power coaster. Means we'll be on all seven coasters today and have plenty of re-rides too. great staff over there on Flying Fish and yeah we've had loads of great staff interactions today which has been fantastic. Here's one for you Charlotte. You know it's something when the queue for depth charge is bigger oh, than no, stealth. It's quite big isn't it? Yeah look at that one's piling on. It's like now nah, we've done stealth that many times let's go on depth charge and that is the thing though people have done that many rides today done the big coasters loads so they actually appreciate some of the smaller things a bit I more. Like depth charge, to be honest. Fantastic look at that yeah, it's a nice ride depth charge. Anyway it's like four minutes to five so we best get around this corner pretty sharpish. We'll end our day on the swarm. Well, the final ride of the day there on the swarm to end our day here at Thorpe Park. And you know what? We've had an absolutely brilliant day today. The weather's been perfect, lovely and sunny. Crowd levels have been pretty light, so we've got loads of rides in. And we've also enjoyed Mardi Gras too. Fantastic day. We've had such a good day. The operations across the park have been really good, minus the walking dead. The staff <laughs> have been great. Really enjoyed Mardi Gras. And we've just got so much done. Yeah, it's felt like a longer day than the 10 till 5, to be honest, because we've done so much. Really nice variety. We've had four rides on stealth, four rides on the swarm and um, we did colossus we did saw the ride that wasn't quite as good um, of course we did the walking dead but a couple of rides on nemesis inferno quite a few of the flats water rides uh, it's just been an all-round fantastic day and the vibes throughout the park have been great operations have been pretty much fantastic really consistent throughout staff have been really good just been a fantastic day at thought park really enjoyed it and of course mardi gras what do you think of that i've really enjoyed mardi gras today it's like bringing that positive energy the color the dancing the music the food it's just been 
looking really good. Very nice vibe, and it works great where they're actually doing it in the park as well, in the Angry Birds area. As much as I'd love to see that area kind of have a permanent New Orleans kind of vibe, I think that'd be great all year round. It works a lovely location for doing the events there, and obviously Oktoberfest has quite a big prominence around there too. It's a great area for doing it, and yeah, the shows are great, nice high energy performances, and it's a very different Mardi Gras than what you get at Alton Towers in Chesterton, which is nice, it keeps it fresh across the park. Yeah, it's nice to get the difference in events if you are going to all of them, you don't want them all to be the same. Yeah, it's like Halloween, yeah, they've all got their own differences at each of the different parks as well, which is fantastic. Brilliant day at Thorpe Park, and if you haven't already, check out our full review from Ghost Train, new for 2023 here at Thorpe Park, a reimagining of the former Darren Brown's Ghost Train, so you can hear what we thought in our full in-depth review that's now online here on the channel as well. We've got lots more content coming up, and shortly we'll be making our way out on our huge USA trip, uh, which is really exciting. I'm sure you've all heard about it by now, but well, if you haven't already, we did a reveal video a few weeks ago with the full part list that we're doing and everything to look forward to on that trip because we are buzzing, oh, aren't we? I cannot wait. So many great coasters to get on. Well, Stal's just getting you geared up for King oh, Dakar. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. But, so there we go from Thorpe Park Resort. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next video.